Today we're going to clean the viewfinder on a Canon QL25. Today we're going to take apart and clean the viewfinder on a Canon A uh, QL25. Now I had somebody reach out and ask could I make a video on this and I thought since I still had this camera laying around you know if it would be helpful absolutely so it's really simple to do and honestly a lot of these uh, late 60s early 70s rangefinders they kind of they're all put together the same way you know might have a couple different screws here and there but you know this could be applicable to a camera that you have even if it's not this particular brand so um, it might be useful across you know other brands as well so a couple things we're going to need uh, obviously a camera with a dirty viewfinder this viewfinder is actually clean but I'm just going to go through the steps and you know whatnot to show you but a camera some q-tips rock blower some uh, rubbing alcohol and now I would recommend getting the highest possible um, alcohol content that you can get this is 91 percent uh, 70 percent or better is is going to be you know the best because you want it to evaporate as quick as possible uh, like a little dish or bowl or somewhere to put the tiny screws because I'll tell you what man these the screws are super tiny um, and they will absolutely get lost super small uh, small screwdriver I think this is a double zero Phillips and I'm not what's uh, not sure what size flathead, but it's tiny flathead. Now I have uh, channel locks, and what I've done is I've taken electrical tape and any kind of tape really. If you have like a felt tape, whatever, but you know, wrap the jaws here. So we're going to need it when we take off this retainer ring. So you'll see what I mean. You don't want those jaws biting into the outside of this retainer ring. So that's kind of just to, to wrap and, and protect that so it doesn't mar anything up. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and you know what? Coffee. Mm. Aside from that, we should be good to go. So uh, I'll bring the camera in just a little bit closer and then we can get started. Alrighty. So the first thing we have to do is on the top here, you're going to have two things that need to come off. And it's going to be the retainer ring for the shutter winder and also your rewind knob has to uh, get unscrewed and come off as well so let's open the back now what I do is I will take a screwdriver and you see how there's like a little prong in here is so I will open up the knob like so and then you put a screwdriver in there so that cannot move and then you unscrew the knob head it should come right off after that point okay we're going to put that aside on the top side again now this is where the soft grips come in or the soft jaws you know with with the tape wrap some tape around your channel locks you might have a better tool and you know this is and this is all i got so anyway we're going to grab it lightly okay and then turn it counterclockwise just enough to loosen it and then you can just do the rest by hand now watch because there's actually retainer rings on the bottom of this and you'll see that when we pull it okay so these retainer rings have to come out okay we're going to set this stuff off to the side all right this is going to lift straight out now take note that it, it does have a a notch on it right here you can kind of see there's a little bit of a notch that notch is going to line up with this notch right here the shutter button will pull straight out now there's three screws that will allow us to lift this top off one is directly on the back here's one there's the other So go ahead, take your double zero Phillips and make sure that they go into that box over here because they are super tiny. I've lost screws like this before and let me tell you, man, sucks trying to find them. 
I mean, it never happens. I would never do that. I'm always so organized. As you are, I'm sure, right? Okay, so with those three out, this will lift straight up. Very carefully, of course. Put that to the side. And now the only thing that is in our way now is this top plate. So there's two flat screws here and here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to unscrew those. Now I'm going to do that while the camera's sitting in this position. Just if you have a magnetized screwdriver, that makes this a lot easier because you can kind of pick it up with the screwdriver. Or my big fingers. We'll just throw them in there. Nice and easy. Okay. And then this piece is going to lift up. Be very gentle. Okay, so now we have access to the inside of the viewfinder. Now, I just want to let you know, you do not want to touch the beam splitter. Okay, this is the glass right here. Okay, and here. Whatever you do, you know, it has a special coating on it. You don't want to touch that at all. The only thing that we're going to mess with very gently is the inside of this. So right in here, the inside of this, which is right here. Of course, you can do the outside, but that's it. And then also there's a little bit piece of plastic here You can hit that. Hit this in here. But that's all we're going to mess with. That will essentially clean your viewfinder and, and bring it back to new, you know, well, close to new, right? Again, don't mess with this angled piece here, either side of it, just don't touch it. And then you don't want to hit any of these pieces of glass in here for your rangefinder, okay? You don't want to touch it because you can knock it out of alignment. Uh, you don't want to do that. So anyway, all we're going to do now, now that everything's open, I pour a little bit of alcohol into the cap just to make it easy and then I dip that in there and then I just gently run this in again keeping mind not to touch that diagonal piece wipe that clean and the same thing I'm gonna wipe the back okay, not touching the vertical piece All right, and then I'll hit the front sides while I'm right here. Right there, if you're like a window washer on a 70-story building, that's me. All right. So let's let that dry for a minute. Let's grab this case, the top. We'll do these as well. On the inside, just get that sucker all clean. And the outside, you know it's clean when you hear that sound. All right, now I'm having too much fun. Okay, let's get the inside of the back. Or oh, that was the back. Let's get the inside of the front. Let's get the front side of the front. Man, look at that, it's like crystal clear. Bam, it's good stuff. Okay, you could do this. Doesn't really do much for your viewfinder, but. All right, so looks like everything has evaporated. So you don't want to leave any, any gobs and you want to make sure too, if you can get a high quality q-tip because a lot of the you get a, a junk q-tip and then you're going to get little pieces of cotton stuck everywhere and you don't want that either because you know obviously you're going to look through and that's going to show right up in your your uh, line of sight so just make sure you get a good quality q-tip so this way they don't shed the one thing that i didn't use was the rocket blower because it's always good I, i've already done this to this camera so like i said it was it's already clean but if this is dirty you might get some dust boogies and stuff and you're just gonna very gently blow in here to to get all this stuff out um i didn't do that because it's already been cleaned but uh you know that's what the the rocket blower is for so so that's it guys you know it's super simple it doesn't take but maybe 10 or 15 minutes to do and it's just it's a great way to kind of service your own camera so if this video was helpful if you could do me a favor and please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed you know please feel free to do so every couple days i come out with new videos some are how to's like this others are reviews and overviews everything's pretty much film photography related so if that's your kind of thing you know go ahead hit subscribe and you'll get all the latest and the greatest so until the next time we'll see you